Hey guys, what's up? This is Jeff Hamm here from Red Plaid Films. I am going to bring you a very quick tutorial about lens flares. And everybody loves lens flares. Everybody loves that J.J. Abrams look. And every now and then you just want to kind of add that into your scene. This is my buddy. This is my son, Walker. He's walking through the bathroom here with a phone light on. And uh, I actually tracked this. As you can see, this is without the lens flare and this is with the lens flare and he just kind of walks through and it sticks to the scene very very well um well anyways i'm going to show you guys how to do that the only plugin that we have for this is a it's a plugin from videocopilot.net it's called optical flares and uh, if you don't have that plugin go to videocopilot.net you can pick it up it's super cheap super affordable there are a lot of great uh lens flare plugins out there but this one is definitely my favorite and I can show you why right now. So I have my footage here uh, right now. It's, it's called baby phone light. <laughs> I, I gave it a real, a real creative title there. So we're going to drag it straight into a new comp just like this. Boom. So we have our baby phone light. Yay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it. So command D duplicates this, or you can just right click, um, and that doesn't really work. You can copy Command C, Command V, whatever. But com but Command D is my shortcut there for uh, for duplicating the footage. You're gonna want to go to Color Correction, Colorama, and in the Output Cycle, switch it over to Ramp Gray. So once you click on the edge here, I'll do that again. You click on the edge here, and it brings you up, you know, another node here. You just want to make sure that's 100% black. So just kind of drag that in to 100% black and then bring up another one. Just click on the edge there and make sure that's 100% white. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this all the way until the only thing that we see in this scene is the phone line. You see that? I'm going to do that again. This is the scene without it. This is the scene with it. Now, what you can see is happening as we kind of drag our cursor through here is what this actually does is everything that is pure white is now white and everything that is not pure white is black. And what that's going to register when we bring in our, um, our lens flare later, it registers everything that is solid white when you Luma track. So the simplest and easiest thing to do is to literally come in here, go to the beginning of the scene, all right, let's find that light. And what I do is mask it, and we'll just do a quick mask, just like this, boom. And you wanna make sure you just get the light. Now, like I said, if you just use the Luma mat as it was, you're gonna put lens flares on his nose, you're gonna put them on his fingers, and you definitely don't want that. So we'll go through and we'll, um, we'll track our mask path. You know, every few frames, we can just kind of drag it over, do everything we got to do. You want to make sure that you avoid, you know, the knuckles and all that stuff. And, and you know, it's, it's pretty responsive. So if you accidentally hit a knuckle, you're going to see a duplicate lens, frame, uh, lens flare. And it's, you know, it's, it's going to look a little, little nasty. But you can always go back through and adjust your mask you know um accordingly and what's nice is your mask doesn't have to be perfect it's not like a perfect track here you're literally just trash masking because like i said everything that's black is black everything that's white is white in the scene and it's gonna read the white perfectly so um i don't want to keep doing this, this is just kind of takes a pain it's a pain all right so basically what i did in this sense here is my Luma mask. Boom. Look at that. And I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see the whole thing. I literally tracked doo -doo 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 -doo, the baby all the way, you know, uh, and so all we have is the light. And so it just takes a little bit of time. Sometimes you got to, you got to work it, but this is a way more accurate track than, um, a way more accurate track than you know your typical 3D tracker or or point tracker or anything like that. So uh, what I did from here, let's go ahead and shut this off. We're going to take you through this step. So uh, here's my baby phone track. Boom! You see the the black on 
the black and white, all right? And um, it's okay to cut off the white every now and then. Let me show you. See, uh, my mask here, it kind of runs into the white. It's okay to cut that off every now and then. It's really not that big of a deal. Just make sure that you include most of the edge. Um, otherwise, your lens flare is going to dance around a little bit. That's just a little helpful hint. But uh, go ahead and make sure you get the full mask there. So uh, back to our baby phone light here. Um, you're going to want to, once you're done with your track, pre-compose. So I'm going to do this on, on our new comp here so you kind of see how I do it. Pre-compose. This is after you track. All right, we haven't finished our tracking here. But you're going to move all attributes to a new composition. That's very important because you want that mask in a different composition. Uh, you can name it as Luma Track. And boom, done. So back over here to our baby phone light. We have our um, baby phone light comp one, which is our Luma Track here. All right? and we have our original footage. So what I wanna do is now we need a flare. Command Y brings up your solid settings, which are on the different screen for some reason. And I wanna name this flare. Make sure that it's uh, set to comp size, which in this case is 4K. Okay, and effect video copilot optical flares. Boom, look at that, already done. Totally kidding. Uh, what we want to do is we want to set our, come down to positioning mode, set it to luminance, source layer, luma track. All right. So now you can see our flare is actually dancing in the scene. Well, it's, it's following the baby. Um, and you can set, uh, come down here. Let's go ahead and hide all this. And you're going to set this to screen. Now, honestly, you can set it to screen. You can set it to add, but add just kind of blows everything out. Um, just depends on what you're what you're trying to do here. But as you can see, we're already tracking in the scene pretty well. Now the beautiful thing about optical flares is it's there's so many customizable options here, and uh, you can pretty much you know um, you can go with any of the presets. You can you can build your own, you know, which is the beautiful thing about this. But uh, for this instance, we're just going to use something super simple. We're going to use a tack light. I'm going to bring the brightness down just a little bit. Boop, boop, boop. I'm going to bring the scale down just a little bit. Now, as you can see, uh, we still have this um, black and white layer. And we don't want to see that, obviously, because that's kind of ugly. So just come down here to the eyeball and boop, uncheck it. And the Luma track is still there, even though the layer is shut off. And so uh, as our little buddy walks through the scene, our lens flare is stuck to the object. Now, uh, one thing that you're going to want to make sure is that it's a hun that whatever you're tracking and your Luma track, that is 100% white and 100% black. Otherwise, the Luma track is going to get confused and it's not going to be able to uh, track as well, you know, you're gonna have some dancing and different things like that. The beautiful thing about Luma tracking is it also reacts to sizes. So the size of your Luma, basically the size of your light, if it changes in correlation to how close it is to the lens, it's gonna change the size of the flare accordingly. The beautiful thing is also, as I have a little example here, is the lens flare is actually very reactive. So once, like you can cover it up there, boom, look at it, and now, boom, look at that. Now it's back on there. Um, it's pretty cool. Super, super neat. This is my favorite way to add a flare to your scene. If you like this, definitely give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I've got a lot more tutorials coming out. My name is Jeff Ham once again from Red Plaid Films. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions or uh, any any you know requests for more tutorials, feel free to leave a comment down in the box below. I'm looking forward to seeing some of the stuff you guys make out there. And remember, never stop creating.